It's Christmas time in Overwatch 2 and that means new Christmas skins. Well, in this case, old Christmas skins that they brought back. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the reindeer skin and if it's worth it or not. So this legendary skin is actually in the Santa's Helpers bundle. It comes with the Jingle Reindeer and Snowman skin. I don't really know exactly how much it is. I'm assuming it's about 3,000 considering I got one of them and it cut off 1,000. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this skin normally would go for 1900 on its own since it is a legendary. So anyways, let's check this thing out in the locker. So obviously this skin is modeled a lot after Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I mean, look at it. We have that cool little nose on there. We have a lot of this, like, you know, deer stuff. We have a brown color with white and a lot of little Christmassy accents. So anyways, let's start at the top. So what I really like about this is that we have, obviously, Orisa as a deer. I will say... The face itself, if you just look at the face and you don't look at the antlers or anything at, at, at all, it kind of looks like a fox. It really does. It literally, like, if you look at this outline, the ears really look like they're making up a fox, and the face itself just looks straight up like a freaking red fox. Except this this way, we actually have some like, little fur in the ears, fur all over the face, kind of like made out of metal, so that's kind of cool. We have a really glowy red nose that actually glows in-game, and you actually see that animated all the time. We have the, you know, the the usual like Orisa eyes, the same different color. Um, but what's really cool are these antlers. So not only do the antlers actually go up like normal deer, or they kind of like go out of the top, but we actually have some at the bottom that kind of look like tusks. I mean, they go out at the bottom and at the top. I think that's really cool. So moving on down past the neck, we actually have this cool little bell with missile. What I looks, I mean, it kind of looks like mistletoe. I wish I had like the little like little red berries in the mistletoe, but it does have this cool little bell with the mistletoe, and it actually jingles. I wish it like made a noise, but it, it just, it moves, which is really cool. We have this gigantic fur coat behind her. Again, this is like, this right here is actual like fur. Up here on her face is actually fur that is made out of metal, but this is like actual fur. I mean, like, it, you know, you can tell it is, but it goes all the way around the neck with this cool, really, really nice uh, detailed brown piece of metal that actually is pretty much the main color throughout the entire skin because that's what a color of deer is. But what's really interesting is it has these little rivets in it, kind of, and, and in my opinion, it kind of makes it look like a speckled deer. I know it, that might not have been the intention of this skin, but to me, it really makes it look like there are specks on the deer. I really like that. And this cool little metal part that goes all the way around the bottom, kind of like the little metal trim. On the arms, we actually have this cool piece of fur that actually goes right there on the right on the bicep we have some cool little metal details on the bottom as well the hands are a little a little all right this i'm assuming is where the shield used to be shot out because this is the old orisa skin and we have this cool little little brown heart with the gold heart encasing it with some metal trim on the outside of it and on the fingers we just have brown metallic fingers with some you know some silver on there the gun itself over here is what's really, really, really awesome. It has a freaking snow globe on it, bro. Look at that. It, the snow in the middle of it jiggles. I really hope we can see that in game. But the trim of the gun has this cool fur on all three parts of it. The middle of it has just, you know, just the brown like we've seen all over the skin. But dude, I can't get over that. Look at the snow globe. It's awesome. We have some cool little ornate details of gold. And on her back, normally there's like the little bongo that we used to get in Overwatch 1. Uh, but this this way, it actually has presents coming out of the side of it. That's so awesome. Does anything jiggle on the presents? Doesn't look like it. Those look pretty firm presents. Uh, but we do have some nice gold ornate details going around the back. Lovely. On the butt of this skin, we actually have uh, the point of a, of a deer tail. It moves, it jiggles, so that's real fur right there. We have another little upside down heart right here with the rivets. I love that this is also, instead of it just being a solid brown color throughout the skin, we have this white accents down here at the bottom too. Man, I mean seriously, look at that. I love that it contrasts with that brown and makes it look spectacular. Look at this, we have some of the same leg shape down here that we had on the arms. But we have some fur on the bottom parts of the legs, and what's really interesting about this is the feet themselves they're shaped to be like hooves like deer that's awesome and the energy javelin is literally nothing spectacular they haven't gone through and you know updated these these skins yet but anyways now that we have the skin equipped let's get through some emotes we have halt kicking dirt puppy cheer laugh sit dressage, and dance. Up next we have our victory poses. We have confident, flex, 
Halt, Pumpkinhead, Puppy, Beacon, Planet, Metal, and Sparklers. And lastly, onto the Highland Treasure, we have Keeping You Safe, Supercharger, Immovable. Oh! And finally, Goalkeeper. And lastly, we have our golden gun, and this is what it looks like before. So we have that cool little snow globe effect in there with the rest of the skin, and we have our energy javelin. And this is what it looks like after. And honestly, that looks definitely all right. I, I, I wouldn't say that that's spectacular. I'm glad it kept the snow globe and it didn't make stuff gold in there. But I mean, this kind of just looks like a stick with gold on it. Nothing too special about that. Uh, energy javelin, they don't ever really do anything about it. Like, literally nothing is golden on here except for this little staff part here. And I think that that was already like that. Yep, nothing changed on the staff. Alright, let's check out this highlight intro for Orisa. Nice, look at that. Man, I, I just love the face. Alright, so let's check this gun out in first person. So the first thing that I noticed right off the bat, I don't see the snow globe at all. It's not here. That is very disappointing. Um, I also see another detail I didn't see because we couldn't like see it in game or in the locker, but there's like a giant snowflake right there on the very, very bottom of the gun. I do like the fur that extends off the top of the metal strips on all three sides of the gun. You know, the bullets right here in the middle, you can see them firing. It's nothing too spectacular. You can see the gun overheating at the top as well, just starting to burn a little bit brighter. The little green inside the middle of those. Just kind of like the little wooden aspect of this, or kind of like the brown metal, whatever you want to call it. And we have like the nice gold ornate details. But, now that we looked at all of that, let's go ahead, let's overheat this gun and see what it looks like. Boop, boop, boop. Now you can forever overheat, overheat this thing. Nice, look at that. Look at that cool little animation. We'll, we'll do it again, just so we can look at it just a little bit more. Look at that, nice. All right, what does our javelin look like? Because it's nothing spectacular. You can't even tell it's in the game. But, you know, here, let's hit our shift so we can see a little bit more of this. Nice. Punch. Here's what our javelin looks like when we're spinning it. You can see a little bit more of that arm right there. Uh, what does our high look like? <laughs> nice. What does our punch look like? Cool. An emote in game? Halt. Halt. And anyways, we've pretty much gone through everything on her kit. Let's check out this ult real quick once this thing does down. All right, let's hit this ult. Now, oh, I love that you can still see the red nose on there. <laughs> I love that you can still see the red nose even through the ult. I will say that is a good aspect of the skin. So I've been killing all these robots and I literally have not gotten any unique voice lines for the skin itself. And you know, with that being said, let's go through all the, you know, we've gone through all the kit, we've gone through the ult, let's talk about the skin. So up first, negatives. Uh, the biggest negative I have with the skin is that it is just a tiny bit boring. Like, I know it is modeled after a freaking reindeer, and that's awesome. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's just so boring to me. I feel like there's so many better skins for Orisa. Another huge detail that I don't like is you can't see the freaking snow globe on the gun. That That is like the only unique thing about the weapon itself. I mean, other than, you know, the little fur on the sides, everything else is pretty standard. I mean, we always have these, like, ornate details on the, you know, the gun. It just, I don't know. It's, it's a very boring gun. The, the javelin isn't reskinned at all yet. They have not done that. I don't think they ever will. I don't know. It's just, there's so much not going on with a deer. I mean, the face doesn't even look like a deer. It looks like a, looks like a fox, you know? And, you know, other than all of those negatives, let's talk about some positives, because there are a lot of them. I absolutely adore that snow globe. That is why I'm so disappointed that we can't actually see it in-game. I mean, it really sucks that we can't see that, because that is probably the best part of the skin other than the nose. I mean, I also love that the nose illuminates and is animated and can be like that. Whichever way you're looking at the skin, I mean, you will always be able to see that. Even during the old. I mean, look, 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 you can see it during the freaking old. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I like the fur around the neck. I really love those horns. I think that's really cool. I love that they added like hooves as the feet as well. But I mean, other than that, I really feel like the skin is just a tiny bit boring. I know it's like, you know, it's it, it's definitely not bad, but it's not amazing either. And so with all that being said, I think I'm just gonna have to give the skin like a, a six out of 10. It's, it's not perfect by any means. It's not my favorite Orisa skin either, but it's not terrible. So it definitely gets a six for being at least pretty good. And so anyways, with that being said, I still think this skin might be worth it for some people. 
But I feel like for most people, it will not be worth it at all. It was, like, for me, not my favorite thing in the world. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all later.